Well, I was always, I've been short-sighted probably from about uh, nine years old and always had to wear glasses for distance and nothing for reading at all. They were, they were absolutely fine. But I, I found it very limiting because I'm, I'm quite a sporty person. I play golf, I, did, I used to play squash, tennis, you name it. I play bridge now, I play the piano. And almost in all aspects of it, it is always limiting that you have to have an aid if you want to have correct sight. And, you know, golf, if it rains, you couldn't wear glasses. And, and various things like that, trivial things to many people. But it was such a hindrance and such a bugbear, it really was, yeah. And I wanted it done just as quickly as could be physically possible. And the place that could accommodate me most readily was Glasgow at Ross Hall Clinic. And Elaine came into my life and she has, she has just been absolutely magical for me. She's been right in my life ever since. She was the most marvellous person. And she fixed up my appointments and kept me in touch and all the rest of it. It was tremendous to be involved. From arrival at the clinic, I was immediately drawn into all the, the preparations and I met so many amazing people. I think we laughed all the time. It was There was no question of there being any fear or any tension. And then I went through for the surgery and I lay on the table and most of the time I, I was told to watch the bright light above and the only time I sensed something could have been being done was when the light moved fractionally. Other than that, Dr. Manji could just have been sitting at my side. I had no knowledge and no pain whatsoever. When I first stood up from the table, I, I almost fell over and the nurses caught me and I said, no, no, there's nothing wrong. I can see, I could see with just the one eye. And I was just so overjoyed and there was no going back. I mean, the whole recovery was just part of the process. I had made it very plain to the optician and he obviously had told Dr. Mantry that having not needed glasses for reading any time in my life, I no longer wanted to have glasses for reading, which seemed to be the bugbear about all of this that I would have to have. But Dr. Mantry assured me I wouldn't. And if I accepted a, a Vivity lenses, then this had a reading facility, uh, which I immediately agreed to. And when the optician in the follow-up appointments tested my reading, it was about three or four levels better than we even anticipated by the lens manufacturer. And in the other appointments I've had since then, nothing has changed. I can read anything. The memories probably of after the surgery were seeing things, in, especially driving, seeing things in the distance that I thought, gosh, I've never, I've never been able to see that far so clearly. Secondly, I played golf with my husband and it's the only time I've been able to watch the golf ball land and where it landed. It must have taken two weeks to stop trying to take my glasses off the top of my head. I would come home and say, I better take my lenses out. And then once or twice when my eyes got very tired, I would say to my husband, if I could just take my lenses out for a rest. Because I just, you know, everything was so different. But I remember thinking, this is the most precious gift I will ever be given. Having had such a wonderful experience, I have told everyone that I know what was done, how it was done, when it was done, why it was done. And I've probably referred at least three or four people to him, including my own daughter. And she has had laser eye surgery from Dr. Mantry, and it's been hugely successful also. She was much more short-sighted than I, and it's, it's just to see her. The first day she came home, and she had she was in pain because it was quite a difficult one. She phoned me, and she, she was crying. And I thought, oh dear heavens, what have I put her up to? And she says, Mum, I, I can see the television for the first time in my life. And it was just, we both cried. I'm going to start. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs>